Welcome to the Creation Evaluation Station, where I give in-depth reviews of models and construction kits, both new and old, mostly LEGO, but other products as well. I also give reviews and discussions of other creative works, such as movies, cartoons, and video games. Today, we're going to be looking at this. And I'm going to bitch you. Yeah, I'm going to butcher the name. Can't even talk straight. Uh, Stiglamolak. Breakout. That guy right there. <laughs> um, I know he's a newer dinosaur, newer discovery, but he's basically a pachycephalosaur. Um, see, I could say that. These new, this new name I can't say. Um, but, but, anyways, yes, we're going to be looking at this. Uh, it's set number 75927. Uh, it's uh, 600. Oh, excuse me. For ages 6 through 12. Um, this was before the newer number age system. So essentially a 6 plus set. Has 222 pieces. Just reading the wrong thing. Um, and it retails for $29.99 originally um, back in 2018. So a little bit older. Um, and of course, not obtainable. Um, yeah, this looks like a fun set. It's got a new dinosaur, although new, new to me. I, uh, I've actually had another set, I think, with this mold out in the Camp Cretaceous series. Um, but this was the, I think, the first set that this one came in. And, uh, yeah, looks like a fun set. So, let's go check it out. We have the contents of this box. Got a somewhat thicker instruction booklet here. It's all folded up, so it's going to be fun to deal with. A sticker sheet with not too many stickers on it. And we have one bag, two bag, kind of funny how they have different printing on the numbers, and a third bagged dinosaur, suffocating to death. <laughs> Shall release him soon. Yep, we got two bags in this one. Should be too big of a build. Here is the contents of bag one. And not only that, I unwrapped the dinosaur so he can breathe now. Yay! <laughs> so yeah. And we have a lot of blue, navy blue and gray pieces in here. Got a nice little wall piece there. Quite a few long plates. Um, both the plates and uh, um, uh, whatever they're called. Tiles. <laughs> Tiles, yeah. <laughs> We got some fencing over here. Quite a few of these um, one by two clip bricks. Quite a few of these. Good parts pack box. Parts box, yeah. Quite a few of these as well in here. And quite a few of these black wands pieces. Got one of our characters in here. Not too much. A lot of the same stuff. Here is bag two. The second and actually last bag. Um, got some more larger wall pieces, panels and stuff. More plates. Fence pieces. And some more smaller pieces. We have Dr. Wu in here. And I just realized after opening this, this is the first set I've seen without uh, Owen in it. It's rather shocked. Here we have the leftover pieces from uh, this set. There's really not much here. Um, got one of them useful tranquilizer darts for tranking your Danas. 
Um, but uh, there's not much here, and that's mostly because there really wasn't a lot of little pieces in this set. Most of them were on the larger side, so uh, that's not too surprising. Here we have the characters for this set. Um, not too many in this one. We have a guard, and we have uh, a Doctor Wu. <laughs> um, it's kind of funny. I'm doing this at the same time I did the uh, doing the um, Doctor Wu's laboratory with the baby dinos, and uh, it's just I didn't do it on purpose. And this is rather interesting. It, this set does not have Owen in it. Um, it's a miracle. But it does have another Dr. Wu. <laughs> um, so, I like this guy's little beanie hat. Looks really warm. It must be cold wherever he's doing it. But let's strip off their accessories. Take a closer look. Um, printing on that guard uniform, just like all the guards, is really nice. Uh, it's got a nice beard mustache going there. Now, this Dr. Wu has a different head than the other Dr. Wu. Um, the smirk isn't quite the same, and he has just a frowny face on the back instead of his scared face like in the other one. Um, other than that, he's pretty much the same. Got that another more nice printing there on the back. He doesn't have a second face. I don't know why that beanie cap kind of covers the back, but he doesn't have a second face. So, uh, one last look at their front from the front. We have our, oh gosh, what was his name again? Stigmolak. Stigmolak. Or Pachycephalosaur. <laughs> As a older name for a different variant of this critter. Because this guy is a, new, a newer species that was found. Um, but I like the mold on the head. Um, looks really nice. It's kind of cool you actually put these spikes on the back of his, his skull. Um, could probably do some other things with it, but uh, not going to play around with that today. But it's nice mold, nice paint job. He's got those big black eyes. Um, his head rotates, and that's it. And that's the only disappointing thing. You can't have him bend his head down and ram things. I mean... I mean, you can still, you know, kind of do this, but that's not quite how he works in the game. And the reason is, I'm pretty sure this is the raptor body. Um, they repurposed the raptor body. I think these are the Dilophosaurus's legs. I'm not sure, because I don't have the Dilophosaurus yet. Um, and maybe these arms, too, might be the Dilophosaurus's arms. I'm not sure. I have neither... I don't have the Dilophosaurus yet. Um, I know it uses similar parts. Now, that being said, even though I'm not sure about the arms and legs, this is definitely the raptor body um, with the rotating head. Um, it'd be nice if he had a head that went down like this. I, I would even sacrifice this for going up and down. Um, but, despite all that, he still looks really nice. And it's a good re re um Purposing of parts, um, which that's fine. Um, just like I said, I wish they made a new body with a poseable head so he could duck down and go on a, a rampage. Um, so he's got joints in his legs at the hip and the arms as well, joint of the knee, and that's it. He has a rubber tail, he's got four studs. On his back, anti studs on his feet, and yes, he's got to pull um, um, accessory slots on the back of his head, which those um, tooth pieces were used for. Other than that, not much more for mobility. He's still pretty cute. I liked his role in the movie. Um, this sets. Not that scene, but uh, 
it's it's still a good dinosaur. So that's that. Here is our set all together, and uh, this is an interesting set. Definitely not my favorite. I primarily got it because of the dino. Why wouldn't I? Um, but there's some thing good about it as well. You see this? This whole scene setup is very might be very familiar to you, and maybe not, but it is basically from first Jurassic Park movie, the very first scene. This is the same type of gate that they had. And they had lights, which there are lights all over, floodlights everywhere. Lights here, there, you know, warning lights that the pen is open. And it has a sliding down door. Um, at that scene, they were loading a raptor into here from a truck. And they had opened up both doors and they were closing it down. So, you know, to lock it in. Um, now... This does not look like the whole paddock that they used for it. Let's spin this around here. It looks pretty flimsy. A raptor could get out of that. This guy could probably even get out of that. Even though it's electrified. I think one good ram from this guy probably would break something. And there is a breakaway feature in the back. But we'll look, look, look at that soon enough. But I do like this gate. And... It's kind of funny, even though we didn't get, we have not gotten a lot of Jurassic Park per se sets. We have had sets that have snuck things in from the older movies, um, like this paddock here. Um, it's kind of clever that they did that. Um, it's primarily the door, although I remember the scene had. Like there was an observation area up at the top too. There were there were a lot of it was at night and there were a lot of floodlights on and and everything else. It's a very scary opening scene, um, but uh, very horrific. This is not quite so scary. Um, there's not much to see here. I mean, it's Paddock. He goes inside. But the door isn't even really big enough for him to get in there. It's kind of small for this particular dinosaur. Um, but we look around here. We got the back here. And we got some things going on here. Not a lot. We got some eggs incubating here. And Woo's got a, a lap, or well, not a laptop, but a desktop computer. And there is his mug. We also have... This, it breaks apart. Something they like to do is have breaking things, broken things, especially windows and stuff. And that includes this fenced area here that's that goes to the paddock. The dinosaur can break through this way and then completely wreck his, his desk. He can have a table flipping time. <laughs> uh, I think it's really funny that the table flips. Um, it's like, is that because of the dinosaur or is Dr. Wu mad? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it's got some breakaway functions. Other than that, there's not too much going on. You got a radio antenna, uh, an actual ladder to get up to the second floor instead of just magically levitating <laughs> there. Um, so you can have your guard climbing up there. Come on. There we go. Not the perfect. I'd pose it a little bit better, but it's just for a quick observation. And you got a nice window to look out there. I don't know why there's no window down here. Um, this set is pretty basic. So I, it's not my favorite. Now there are signs here like this was an electrical sign. There's another one on the other side. And I think they actually have the parts. A printed piece that has the same 
imaging on it, so I don't know why they put stickers. So that's a sticker. There's a sticker there. I think there's there's a sticker for this computer. Oh, we lost one of our eggs. We'll fix that. Um, there's a sticker on the computer screen, and I think that's it for stickers. There were there wasn't too many in this set, and like I said, I haven't put them on. Um, oh, I think there was some like around the base. On the, the 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 building itself, there were some stickers. Um, yeah, there's not a lot to this. It's just kind of a paddock for our little friend here, who's maybe little, but he's still a little too big for this pet. Um, with his leg power, he could probably easily just jump out. Um, like. I would see adding this maybe to Dr. Wu's lab with the babies. This would be a good pen for the babies to, to be in. Um, makes more sense. Uh, but we'll talk more about my overall thoughts a little bit later. I just wanted to check out everything that's here. Okay, we're back here at the desk to give this a final eval. Um, my overall thoughts, I... I have mixed feelings about this. For one, well, we'll kind of get to it when we do the eval, but yeah, I have mixed feelings about this. Uh, there's some things I like and some things I really don't like. And it really shines a negative light on this. Um, but starting off with the appearance, it looks fine, except at least from this angle. When you get to here, becomes very bare bones. There's, there's not much here. This is supposed to be a building, but it doesn't have a roof. And the inside, there's just a desk. There is a little bit of a, you know, incubator going on here. There's not much here. And that's, I feel where it's lacking. Now, there are some stickers that I didn't put on that would maybe help some but then you're relying too much on stickers to for your appearance and that's kind of mm, sad to be, to be honest um so i ended up giving the appearance actually an eight i mean the dinosaur looks good the figures look good the actual overall build like the front from the fence looking at it from this side looks okay as we move to the back things start to pale um, and look kind of bleak. Now, the functions, you have a lot of breakaway windows and things. You have the nice shutting door. And this, this is what I like. That kind of goes back to the appearance as well. This has a nostalgia effect. But if you aren't familiar with the first movie, you aren't going to catch it. This... This scene, this paddock area, looks very much like what we saw in the very first movie, the very first scene, where there is, they are trying to load a raptor in the rain, and they have problems. The raptor ends up snatching one of the, the workers, and bad things happen. But there was a lot of bright lights, which you could see here. There's uh, some spotlights here. There's some lights here with just the colored brick, uh, translucent bricks. There's the sliding door that keeps the thing in. And even the, this back area, which you almost have to, I, I vaguely remember because it's not in the foreground, it's in the background, but this looks similar to that where it's got that the Jurassic World gate effect with the, the big doors, you know, um, has that same appearance here. Um, but, so yeah, that th th this function works along with that. So there's a nostalgia aspect to this, but that's not for everybody if you don't have not seen the movies, the originals, and uh, also goes into my thing where they're sneaking stuff from the the original movies into the Jurassic World line. Um, 
So, I mean, everything works fine. And that's why I ended up giving it a nine. It just, there needs to be more back here. There's very little back here. And the fun, also, it, it's missing something because of that. I mean, you have the Remy dinosaur, you know, Rem head. We'll call him Rem head for sure. It's easier to say. Uh, you can break down the doors. You can break down the, the, the window here and tip the desk over. That's fun, but that's all there kind of is to this it's a very small gimmick um and i end up giving the fun an eight here as well i mean just playing with a dinosaur well, of course is fun that's the thing if you got a dinosaur it's gonna like, increase the fun but the set alone it does it works with the dinosaur but there's just not a lot here um techniques there wasn't a lot of really Amazing building techniques. I mean, it's a nice build here from the front, but as I said, to get to the back, it's kind of simple when you get to the point where it's it's just large pieces being stacked on top of each other. This is something you'd see in a four plus set. This isn't a four plus set. <laughs> um, it's six plus. Um, so I ended up giving technique also an eight. Now the, uh, that brings the average, if you take all that, add it up, and divide by four, to an 8.5. It's a very mess set. And I, unfortunately, it gets, gets worse. Um, the price is, let's see, it was $29.99 has 222 pieces you do the math and you end up with 13 cents per piece which is way over 10 percent 10 cents standard and that's not good but there's some reasons for it there are a lot of large pieces in here there's panel pieces usually a dinosaur costal increases the price which I think that's part of it, but not all of it, because there are other large pieces in here. Um, both these, these, the front gate, the the windows, and a lot of a lot of building has made up of larger pieces, making the price more. That's okay, to some extent, but at this price, just looking at this set all together here. I'm looking at a $20 set. It feels like $20 here. Feels like $20. I know that there's more expensive things like the expensive parts and stuff like that, but it feels like a $20 set and it's $30. It's really expensive to what I imagine it would be. A $25 set would be okay. I would give it a pass for that. But at $30, it's getting enough per fail. Um, you know, if it's $25, if it was maybe 11, 12 cents per piece, it'd be a bit more reasonable. I, I find this set lacking a lot. So yeah, it's overall score ends up being an 8.5F. It's a very mess set at a pretty bad price so tell me what you think yeah would you buy this just for the dinosaur because i do did pretty much what i wanted was the dinosaur out of this um i do like the nostalgia factor we got going on here although i would like to maybe alter it because these walls are really thin the the the, the raptor paddock was much much heavier guarded and, and thicker than this and make this into a raptor pen and maybe do something more with this back end um, I granted that that first scene in the movie you didn't see much beyond here 
you could see that this was a lot more reinforced. And they actually showed the Raptor Paddock later on in the movie, and yeah, they, they've got it really reinforced because you don't want those guys out. Uh, the, this needs more to it as well. Um, it's okay that, that they have a little, you know, laboratory that's studying them behind it, but it needs more to it. But yeah, let me know what you think. Um, if you like this video, hit that like button. And of course, um, share it with others that would be interested. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. So that's it for me here at the Creation Valuation Station. Reminding you that creativity 